welcome to our series on African mythology. Today, we'll be discussing the Epic of Sundiata from Mali. The Epic of Sundiata tells the story of Sundiata Keita, a young prince who would become the founder of the Mali Empire. Born with a limp and considered weak by his family and community, Sundiata was determined to prove himself and rise to power. The story begins with Sundiata's father, Magan Khan Fata, the king of the Mandinka people, being visited by a soothsayer who predicts that Sundiata will one day become a great leader and unite all the neighboring kingdoms. However, due to Sundiata's limp, Magan Khan Fata's first wife, Sasauma, saw him as a liability and plotted to have him killed. But Sundiata was saved by his mother, Sagalin, and was sent into exile. During his exile, Sundiata met and befriended many powerful leaders and warriors, who would later become his allies in his quest to take back the throne. He also met and fell in love with a young woman named Sagalin Keju, who would later become his queen. After many years, Sundiata returned to his homeland with an army of allies and defeated Sasauma and her followers, reclaiming the throne and becoming the king of the Mandinka people. He then set out to conquer the neighboring kingdoms and unite them under one empire, becoming the founder of the Mali Empire. The Epic of Sundiata is not only a story of one man's rise to power, but it is also a story of courage, perseverance, and the power of unity. It teaches that, despite obstacles and difficulties, one can achieve greatness through determination and the support of others. In conclusion, the Epic of Sundiata is a powerful and enduring story from Mali's rich oral tradition. It tells the story of Sundiata Keita, the founder of the Mali Empire, and his rise to power through determination, courage, and the support of others. Thank you for watching.